Seventh grade, open up resources, illustrative mathematics. Unit six, lesson nine, dealing with negative numbers. Problem number one, solve each equation. A, 4x equals negative 28. Divide both sides by four and you have x equals negative seven. We can check our work, substitute the x with a negative seven, and you have four times negative seven equals negative 28, and that's true. B, x minus negative six equals negative two. That's the same as x and the opposite of negative six equals negative two. Since the opposite of negative six is positive six, this reads as x plus six equals negative two. Subtract six from both sides of the equal sign, and you have x equals negative eight. We can check our work. Let's substitute the x with a negative eight. Now it reads negative eight plus six equals negative two. Let's subtract six from both sides. Now it reads negative eight equals negative eight, and that's true. C, negative x plus four equals negative nine. Subtract four from both sides, and now you have negative x equals negative 13. Well, negative x also means the opposite of x. So if the opposite of x is negative 13, then positive x equals positive 13. We can check our work by substituting a 13 with the x. Since negative 13 plus four equals negative nine, we can be sure that x equals 13. D. Negative 3x plus 7 equals 1. First, we can subtract 7 from both sides of the equal sign. Negative 3x plus 7 minus 7 equals negative 3x, and 1 minus 7 equals negative 6. So now the equation reads negative 3x equals negative 6. To make that just one positive x, we're going to divide both sides by negative 3. Negative 3x divided by negative 3 equals positive 1x, or x, and negative 6 divided by negative 3 equals positive 2. x equals 2. We can test this out by substituting a 2 for the x. Now it reads negative 3 times 2 plus 7 equals 1. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Negative 6 plus 7 equals 1, and we know that's true, so x equals 2. E, 25x plus negative 11 equals negative 86. To get rid of that negative 11, we'll add 11 to both sides of the equal sign. 25x minus 11 plus 11 equals 25x, and negative 86 plus 11 equals negative 75. Divide both sides by 25, and you get 1x or x equals negative 3. We can check to see if we're right by substituting the x with a negative 3. 25 times negative 3 equals negative 75, and negative 75 plus a negative 11 is the same thing as negative 75 minus 11 more, and that is negative 86. So we know that we're correct. Problem number 2. Here's an equation, 2x plus 9 equals negative 15. Write three different equations that have the same solution as 2x plus 9 equals negative 15. Show or explain how you found them. I can double all three terms and the x would have the same value. For example, I doubled the 2x to get the 4x, I doubled the plus 9 to get the plus 18, and I doubled the negative 15 to get negative 30. I can triple the original three terms. 2x times 3 is 6x. 9 times 3 is 27. And negative 15 times 3 is negative 45. And I could quadruple the original three terms. 2x times 4 is 8x. 9 times 4 is 36. And negative 15 times 4 is negative 60. Once again, I doubled the original terms, I tripled the original terms, and I quadrupled the original terms. For all four of these equations, the value for x is negative 12. Problem number three from seventh grade unit six, lesson three. Select all the equations that match the diagram. 
Look closely at the diagram. You have three groups of x plus 5, and that all equals 18. Since A only has one group of x plus 5 equaling 18, it doesn't match the diagram. There should be three groups of x plus 5 equaling 18. I like equation B because 18 divided by three groups equals x plus 5 inside each group. So that one does work. So this represents 18 divided by 3 and inside each group is x plus 5. I also like equation C because it says 3 times x plus 5 equals 18. And that means three groups of x plus 5 equals 18. I also like equation D. x plus 5 equals one third of 18. In other words, if you take 18 and you divide it by 3, one of those thirds is equal to x plus 5. Equation E is not a match because it says 3x plus 5 equals 18. I drew a diagram in blue that represents 3x plus 5 equals 18. And as you can see, it's different than the original diagram they gave us. Problem number four from seventh grade unit six, lesson four. Match each story to an equation. A, a stack of nested paper cups is eight inches tall. The first cup is four inches tall and each of the rest of the cups in the stack adds one fourth inch to the height of the stack. The stack of nested paper cups is 8 inches tall, and that equals the height of the first cup, 4 inches, plus 1 fourth of an inch times the number of the rest of the cups. So story A would match equation 2, 4 plus 1 fourth x equals 8. Story B. A baker uses 4 cups of flour. She uses 1 fourth cup to flour the counters and the rest to make 8 identical muffins. In total, the baker uses four cups of flour, and that equals the one-fourth a cup of flour to flour the counters, plus an unknown amount for each of the eight identical muffins. Story B matches equation three. Eight X plus one-fourth equals four. Story C, Elena has an eight-foot piece of ribbon. She cuts off a piece that is one-fourth of a foot long and cuts the remainder into four pieces of equal length. The total length of the ribbon equals 8 feet, and she cuts off a piece that's 1 fourth foot long, plus an unknown length for four other pieces. Story C matches equation 1. 1 fourth plus 4x equals 8. Problem number 5. From 7th grade unit 6 lesson 2. There are 88 seats in a theater. The seating in the theater is split into four identical sections. Each section has 14 red seats and some blue seats. A. Draw a tape diagram to represent the situation. This tape diagram shows that there's 88 seats in total and it's split into four identical sections. Inside each section, there's 14 red seats and an unknown amount of blue seats. B. What unknown amounts can be found by using the diagram or reasoning about the situation? 14 red seats times 4 sections equals 56. So we know that there are 56 red seats. 88 total seats minus 56 red seats equals 32. That tells me that there are 32 blue seats. Be sure to support my YouTube channel by liking this video, leaving a comment, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.